All right, hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Fox Island Gaming again with your uh, part four to your Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. All right, we just got done fighting our last little boss guy, and now we got all our plugs in, and we're going down to the sewers. Uh, I kind of wish I hadn't had to mess with the, the Magnum at all fighting that guy, but uh, oh well. I'll end up with more than enough animal come the end of the game. Where did she come Ada. from? I feel like there'd be a few questions for her. Pretty good ones too. What was that all about? Yeah. Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Yeah, you're stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Yeah. Look, Ada. It's funny right now, baby, because I got the alternate costume, so I don't look like a but cop. We're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. I'm just like some average okay. dude that's just right. telling her what to do. We'll do this your way for now. She is a strong, independent woman, Leon. All right, let's go muck around in the sewers. <sighs> There's actually a lot of uh, documents, well, really only a couple, I guess, but they give a good amount of backstory to what's going on um, down here. The deeper you go, the more you find out about what's going on with Umbrella and Raccoon City and the police chief and all that kind of crap. Even the sanitation department is getting kind of tossed to the wolves. And this is coming from William Birkin, I believe, given uh, instructions. That uh, might not be, but to the sewer manager on uh, basically where to be and what to do and how to stay out of their way. Alright, so I don't know that I need any of that right now. Actually, I do, because I always forget. I want that, and then we'll go. I should quick uh, reload my uh, pistol, just because... Alright, I think there's something in here too. It might only be an ink ribbon or something. Nope, never mind, never mind. Don't know what I'm talking about. Let's hop on the uh, old elevator here. Come on, Ada. And this is uh, coming up here, you'll see the uh, Annette Birkin, wife of William. There she is. Ada! You know, innocent people run. Leon. Seems like she would have been better that off just standing there because that woman is a I terrible shot. But then Leon dove cross body wise in front of the in front of where it was being shot at. All right, let's go talk to her. She seems reasonable enough. We'll just talk it out. Considering we didn't even say one word to her and she ran and started shooting at us. Oh dear. Someone's fast too. I feel like they should have some sort of waiters or something like that walking around down here. You're going to catch something. And I'm not talking like a cold. You're going to get you're going to get the heavy mucking around in the sewers like that. All right, explanation time. Okay, she couldn't look at this. Before I get up here, she couldn't hit Ada to save her life, and now she's gonna shoot the gun out of my hand like it's nobody's business, like she's freaking Wyatt Earp. What accuracy, suddenly. This is the best cutscene in the Don't whole game, though, so. You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus yep. research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John. Yep, that was a password in the first Resident Evil. Throwback! How did you know? Who are She you? was there! Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. 
Solomon is very morbid. G virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T virus. People are so nonchalant about their bioweapons. That must mean the creature in the police department is. Precisely. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm a conspiracy clear. nut, but I do think stuff like this. Not this exactly. But somewhere yeah, there's there's biochemistry being messed with as weapon, Randy. I mean, you're a fool if you don't think that that's happened slash happening. <sighs> this way. This way. Oh boy. It's sheer we get to perfection. run into hunk, possibly. My precious G virus. No one will ever take you away from me. That was another unlockable character in Easter egg. It's really cool. <laughs> Different playable characters, you know, Hunk and Tofu. On. There he is. This so is the biggest misunderstanding ever. He knocks a cup over and they shoot the living the crap himself. out of him. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. It's a cup or a container of some sort. That guy was a little too trigger happy. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care She's of She's paler than him. First. Stay here. That bullet wound. There must be one in particular she's concerned about. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <laughs> There it Are is. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? That's exactly what she's telling you. The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there. So eat this, you freak! I'm, I'm stopping it. What is this thing? I gotta tell you, the G virus, Hurry. it beats the pants off of that Uroboros crap that they had in 5 and 6. Oh my gosh. Definitely beats the pants off of the Plagas, too. I still love Resident Evil 4, but. T virus and G virus all day. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the classics. Son of a yeah, you don't have a drum mag, dude. You gotta. I would move and shoot, potentially. Revelations. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. That's a bummer. Worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Yeah, that's kind of what happened to uh, Ben. <laughs> Way to fight the wrists. Oh, and an overhand slap. <laughs> Too bad. Look at Ada. Too bad. Oh dear. Let's cross this. Important to note that this is up right here right now, and uh, Leon will be down below shortly. That's why I remembered. I'm glad I remembered to get that little uh, valve turning wheel. Whatever it's called. I got it. Important things I remembered something for a change. What's that? Oh, just your friendly neighborhood mutant alligator. Ah! Don't know if she liked it or not, quite honestly. Ada? I like the American flag on his flag. On his flag? On his flag? I don't even know how to talk. On his shoulder. America! So good. I still got him in inventory. Let's go help Ada. Why don't we? Alright, we're driving. 
I'm gonna head down here first and uh, see how this guy from Umbrella's doing. I know he's just been kind of hanging out with the group, and he's dead. They're all dead. That's not good, right? Metal of Wolf. I think there's ammo. Yep. Sweet. We're not too far away from getting the uh, shotgun parts too, so that'll be fun. All right, now we can't go up there because coincidentally the fan started going. So too bad. Spiders, get them off me! I'm just gonna run past them because I don't like them. I don't care about you. All right. Now. You guys should get ready for this because I'm going to destroy this alligator very quickly. It's not really a secret. One handgun round, that's all you need. You can also waste, you go the route of wasting a lot of ammo and health and that type of thing. That's just idiot. Idiot move. There we go! I feel like Osha would have something to say about a platform like that that has no side rails to it. There would definitely have to be handrails. I mean, credit them, they do have uh, the, the sweet uh, caution yellow and black tape along the edges at least, so. They, they made a step, at least, in the right direction. I'll go ahead and grab that, why not? Why wouldn't you? Sweet, we got two shells left in the box, and now we can stack them. All right, so. What do we learn in video games when they give you a save point, health, and ammo all in one tight little spot? I have no clue. And of all doors that are flimsy, I don't know why that one. That one seems it seems especially flimsy. It sounded like it was made out of aluminum or something. Big ol' open area. Totally not an ambush point. And our friend Ada is just hanging out, shooting at the freaking thing Ada! with a pistol. She's doing what she can, I guess. Heads up! Is that what a giant alligator would sound like? I feel like it'd sound different. I mean, I don't know what it would sound like. But... And we set off our container. Come on. Come here. Get it. It's right there. Bite it. Yeah. I don't know why he picks it up, but it's not smart. Suck it! Now he's dead. He doesn't just run away when we get mad. Later, dude. Alright. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> At least he locked us in. I mean, it's not just a giant alligator. It can work electronic locks. And that's when you know you've really done your job as a bioterrorist. Great giant mutant alligators that can work electronics. It's kind of a benchmark in the field. Hi, Ada. Leon. Oh, no. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. Yeah. Just put gauze around it and you'll be fine. That's two I owe you. Oh, dear. Don't mention it. You're gonna continue to owe me, Ada. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Yeah. I'm going up it. Upward stairs. I guess it's just a ladder. I uh, don't believe anything's over here. Okay, good. And we still got our... Oh, for Pete's sake. Do you know what I did? Do you know what I forgot? It's a crucial point. Let's head back. Ah... Uh, I knew my awesome memory would be short lived. 
All right, so when you use that valve handle thing, uh, it's important to go ahead and cross and then raise the platform back up so you don't run into a situation like that. Oh well. Quickly decomposing alligator back here. Missing half of its face, head, slash, body. Yeah! That doesn't take too long to get back here anyway. Yeah, so this will be a highly anticipated area too in the remake. Uh, creating that uh, alligator over again in the sewer system down here. That's going to be epic. I'm so glad they decided to make a full reboot and remake, which is what everybody wanted anyway. Instead of just doing like an HD remaster. Makes me very happy. And if they did, you know, that if they were going to do any type of reissuing of Resident Evil 2 or any of the old ones at this point, has to be a full-blown remake. Because, I mean, who doesn't want that? And there are some people that are saying, you know, leave the original alone, we don't need a remake. To those people, I say, I, I get what you're saying, it's a great game, but they're not going to ruin this game by releasing another version of it. And really, I i mean, I, I say this and I'll hope, I, I hope that they make it in the same vein as they made that first Resident Evil remake at GameCube, in that it's the same game, they just kind of expand upon it a little bit and up the graphics and animations and all that kind of thing, which it sounds like that's what they're going for, so I am absolutely 100% all for it. And Ada doesn't know how to get around guardrails, apparently. Now we got the Eagle Metal. It's a common theme there. There's an eagle and a wolf metal in the first Resident Evil 2 to get down to the lab. And this is the exact same thing to get down to the lab. And another letter. No, I guess it's not a letter, it's a sewer manager's diary. I think that's the poor guy that's still left sitting there rotten. Man, a lot of people got it got a short end of the stick in this whole situation. Let's turn that fan off so we can not be minced when we go through it. Alright! Put that back in my pocket, of course, you know. Or some other reasonable explanation as to where it goes. <sighs> yeah, the whole uh, situation down here in the, the uh, sewers, your whole adventure through it is pretty short-lived. You don't spend a whole lot of time down here. It's kind of like the uh, catacombs area in the first Resident Evil. With uh, Lisa, the monster, the little girl that was turned into a monster and all that. You don't spend a whole lot of time down there. Ada, I will end you. I will swing my arm right through your, right through your face. Gah! I'll hit you in the head. Get out of the way. She just looks at me too. She don't care. Alright, the zombies are going to wake up and come after us, but, side note, I don't care. They puked! Okay, zombie or not, they still got to breathe. How are they laying underneath the water still alive? Okay, let's... Yeah, she can get hit, I don't really care. Sorry if that seems merciless. Here we go, one. It's a heavy sounding coin, I tell you that. There's two creatures we do not need to fight. There we go. Blue for go on through. Hurry up, they're coming. Alright, we made it. Except for right now we got a little bit of a tail in the form of William Birkin, or the guy that used to be him. You know, the friendly fella who puts rats in people's chests. Who has an eyeball on his shoulder. Is she poisoned? Do I gotta heal her? I don't wanna heal her. Okay. There's a sweet little tram car that's gonna take us down into the labs. It's exciting. This away. There's something back over here if I remember correctly. I did not remember correctly. First things first, let's go turn this guy on.
beautiful. This is the only part of the game that I feel like they looked at when they made the Resident Evil movie. It's the only thing that looks in the movie like what it looked like in the game. And they took it for Res from Resident Evil 2. Man, the first movie was decent, and, and what I mean by that is it was entertaining. But I hate that it was tied to Resident Evil. They're just banking on the name and getting fans, knowing fans would watch it. Now this, you can let Ada do all the shooting and save your ammo. He's got to pay attention to where the uh, there. See, move. It'll be a little bit of a and she'll shoot it. And that way you don't have to worry about wasting your ammo. Get it, Ada. It's right there. Get it, Ada. I feel like in games where you gotta do uh, escort missions and stuff like this or whatever, where you always got an NPC that you gotta look out for, make them pull their weight if they can, but most of the time they're just dead weight. Alright, we blew off one of his fingernails. He'll leave us alone, right? Probably. Let's get out of here. Alright. Now that we're outside, there's one thing we can do right here. If you are, uh, almost said Jill, if you're Claire, you need to make sure you have it equipped, but with Leon, he always has it. And this doesn't do anything more than light up, and it shows you that there's an item over here. Watch it, it'll go flash flash. There she be. And what this does, is it gives you a key to the weapons box, down in the labs, which gives you parts for the Magnum, which makes it deal significantly more damage. And it really shortens up your whole boss fight scenarios at the end. <clears throat> Alright, I'm assuming these are the civilians that tried to make it out, but didn't quite get where they wanted to go. I do feel bad for them. I really do. There we go. Stay down. First things first, let's go ahead and get this. Man, if the shotgun was empty too, just like the handgun parts, you get uh, it'll reload your shotgun. But let's go ahead and combine it so we don't have wasted inventory. And he's bleeding out and he's good and dead. That's what we need. You're gonna bite me if I run up to you. Dick. Come on, Ada, quit being a wuss. Let's run. Get out of here. There's a lot of different areas in this game, I feel like. Uh, it, it still impresses me every time I play through it. Um. I got one round left. I'm gonna have to use a shotgun. I'd rather not, but. What the heck am I gonna do, you know? Gotta be careful, they run right up on you. So he's down. Shoot him, Ada. That's what I'm talking about. Get him, Ada. Come on now. I know you have ammo. <sighs> Fine. Let's run this way. Am I gonna run into the There we go. And one thing we are gonna want is, since we didn't grab that first aid spray five miles back because we got that boss fight coming up where we're gonna run into Mr. William Birkin and we're gonna want all the health we got. There, now we got essentially a first aid spray right there. And we're gonna get another one here shortly, so... For Pete's sake. So much more kick to it. I mean, to be fair, I mean, it turns it into not a sawed-off anymore. And he's holding it down by his waist like it's a baseball bat or something. Always gave me a kick. Alright. Item box for sure. Weapons box key. Well, we can get rid of that guy. 
Don't have any ammo in there, but that's okay. I think there might be some... There's magnum ammo in here for one thing. And magnum ammo, my friend, is solid gold. It's probably more valuable. Get that full... Shotgun ammo. Alright. So it kind of makes up for the rounds that I just had to waste down there in the sewers. Alright. And then right here, of course, if you didn't already notice, handy dandy first aid spray. We will absolutely use that up. Make myself a save state here. Here we go. I'm cheating. I'll just accept it. Alright. Now... Is there something back here, or am I making things up? Nope, there is. Sweet. So sweet, we got some ammo. For the pistol. Pistol ammo becomes very useful down in the labs because there's a fair amount of roaming zombies down there. I don't think I need a, that. And this is the tram! I love the sound effects to the, the wind. They have such a good soundtrack to this game. I love it. So good. Alright, let's head in here and get the key so we can get this show on the road. Apparently right now William is just hanging back and stealthily tracking us, which is pretty frightening when you think about it. Just hang out in here, Eddie. You're already injured. You're about to almost die anyway. William's not going to know what hit him. He really isn't. There's a keyhole. Hint, hint, hint. There we go. Will you press the activation switch? Yes! And then an extremely loud horn. Kind of like a we're over here signal. Maybe he wasn't following us until right then. That might be a little bit more, you know, reasonable. Man, I always like the CGI cutscenes in the PlayStation era. These graphics remind me of being of this, Tekken 2, Metal Gear Solid, Siphon Filter. Ah. PlayStation was a dang good era, fellas. Whoa! Beta. Okay, first of all, his arm was not that long. Can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it. <laughs> snap out of your concussion. I'm assuming is what she has. In case of emergency, the red light will turn on. And this is another legit survival horror feeling. When you're going out to a boss fight, you know that it's got danger because you got limited supplies, both health-wise and, you know, weapon-wise. First things first. Actually, I might save that. I'll just rock the shotgun until I run out of ammo. You get ammo for your shotgun three times more often than you get it for your magnum. So. He threw a pipe! What kind of guy throws a pipe? And then he just freezes like I'm not going to notice him. Over there. You're gross. Hey, he looks like a bird. He's got bird face now. Okay, that's cheating. You can't just grow new fingernails. The music's so intense. Back off! There, I got him to stumble. Run, 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 run! Leon, you failure! I'm still fine? How am I still fine? I'll, I'll take it. Stumble, yeah! Oh, I got whacked. I got whacked. Help, help! Now it's time to pay attention. Do I use it? Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I have a save state. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I uh, if I die, I'll just reload. We can live. We can totally live. Let's keep going. Keep it going. Gotcha. Nope. Nope. No, he's not dead. I got way too cocky too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Round one, Leon. Alright. 
Last name ever. All right. So I mean, I made it through that pretty uh, unscathed, so to speak. I mean, I was minorly scathed, I would say. Yeah. And Leon just trying to take care of Ada. He's a protector, through and through. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. I think I'd be trying to get some sort of pressure on the wound, dude. I mean, she bandaged you up when you got shot. I don't think a pep talk's what she needs right now. Here we are, where all the secrets are born. This gets oddly romantic for a second. Borderline awkwardly romantic. Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Oh, jeez. Go. I'll only Did slow you down. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but... Whoa. I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. And Leon's like, I'll you're right a great friend. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Shotgun shells. Dude, we're gonna be rolling in ammo for the final bus scene. There we go. We're up to 12 rounds in the Magnum now, and I haven't even spent one shot yet. Wait, yeah, I have. <laughs> we got ourselves an herb. And that should be all it takes to get me back to find, honestly. I lied. I should have used the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Sorry. Okie doke. So there we are. Okay, this is going to conclude part uh, B4 now. Wow, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, guys, leave a, a comment down below if you like. Uh, if you, if you want to see some other games, uh, feel free to tell me. Uh, give me some feedback. Uh, be sure to hit that uh, like and the subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. Uh, but uh, keep an eye out for the last part, guys. We're going to finish this up, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to bigger and better things. But thanks for watching, guys. If you got this far, great. You're awesome. Um... I don't know why anybody would want to sit around and watch me for that long, but this is a great game. Um, if you guys have played it before, play it again. And if you haven't played it before, get on it. It's awesome. But we'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me.